Imagine losing your memories, not all at once, but in a very particular order. Your most recent experiences fade first, while the oldest memories, the ones from childhood, seem to cling on stubbornly. This pattern isn't random. It follows a principle known as Ribot's Law. It was proposed in the late 19th century by French psychologist Théodule Ribot. He observed patients with memory loss and noticed a consistent trend. Memory doesn't disappear evenly. Instead, it retreats backward in time. Recent memories are the most fragile, while older, well-established memories are more resistant to damage. To understand why this happens, think of memory like layers of paint on a wall. The newest layer hasn't fully dried yet. It's easier to scrape off. Older layers, however, have hardened and bonded deeply to the surface. In the brain, newer memories are still dependent on structures like the hippocampus, while older memories have been reinforced and distributed across different areas of the cortex. Ribot's law doesn't only apply to memory loss from diseases like Alzheimer's. It can also be seen after brain injuries or trauma. However, Ribot's law is not absolute. There are exceptions. Emotional trauma, for example, can cause the opposite effect, where older memories are repressed or fragmented. Still, as a general rule, Ribot's observations hold true and continue to guide modern neuroscience.